In this presentation, we will see solved questions in data encryption standard. Let's step into question number one directly. Question number one. Which of the following is or are the feature or features of Feistel structure design? Option A. Block size and key size. Option B. Round function. Option C. Subkey generation. Option D. All of the above. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. If you recollect the Feistel design structure, I had explained you there are various Feistel structure design features which include the block size, the key size, the number of rounds, the subkey generation algorithm, round function, the faster encryption and decryption process and the ease of analysis. So considering these design features and the right answer for this question will be option D, all of the above. Let's now navigate to question number 2. The question is, what is the size of the plain text in data encryption standard DES? Options are given. Option A, 57. Option B, 48. Option C, 32. And option D, 64. And this is a straightforward question. If you look at the data encryption standard algorithm, we can confirm that the input is of 64 bits and the output is also of 64 bits. In other words, the plain text which is of 64 bits in nature, this 64 bits plain text is going to be converted into 64 bit ciphertext as the output. So the input is 64 and the output is 64. So the right answer for this question is option D 64. Let's move on to question number 3. The Feistel cipher of this encryption algorithm uses dash s boxes. Options are given. Option A 8, Option B 7, Option C 6 and Option D 5. And this is also an important information to be known as far as this algorithm is concerned. So let's see, we have already seen this in one of the previous lectures that we have a round function where the input is going to be broken into two parts. One is the left hand side 32 bits and the other one is the right hand side 32 bits. Now the right hand side 32 bits is going to be given to the expansion function where the 32 bits are going to be expanded into 48 bits and these 48 bits are going to be XOR with the round key. Say for example, if this is round 1, then the subkey generation algorithm will generate the subkey pertaining to round 1. Now this round key is XOR with the 48 bits, the output is going to be 48 bits. Now these 48 bits have to be converted into 32 bits. Can you see the output should be 32 bits. How these 48 bits are converted into 32 bits? This is done using the S boxes. How many S boxes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So there are 8 S boxes as far as this encryption algorithm is concerned. And now what is happening is every S box is going to take 6 bits and it's going to generate 4 bits. So 6 bits is reduced to 4 bits. So 6 into 8, 48 bits are converted into 4 into 8, 32 bits. So this is how the reduction of bits is happening in this. So how many S boxes? Option A, 8 S boxes. And coming to question number 4, the question is, in the below DES encryption algorithm, what is the bit size of A, B and C respectively? We are given with the DES encryption diagram and we are required to find the size of A, B and C. Let's see the options first. Option A, 48, 56, 64. Option B, 64, 56, 48. Option C 64 48 56 and option D 64 48 64. I request you to pause this video for a while and think about the right answer. I hope you are done. If you see here, what is the size of this A? The 64 bits plain text is actually given to the initial permutation and this permutation is going to change the bit position. Anyway, the 64 bit input is going to be converted into an intermediary output which is also of 64 bits in nature. So the bit size for A is 64. How many options are matching? B, C and D. So let's progress to B. In the previous question, we confirmed that every round function is going to take a 48 bit key, isn't it? So this is going to generate a 48 bit key which is the size of the round key. And the subkey generation algorithm is going to generate a 48 bit key as the round key for every round. So B is 48 bits. How many options are matching? Option C and D are matching. So the right answer should be 
either C or D. And coming to the C part, if you see here, the original key length is 64 bits and it is actually converted into 56 bits and the effective key size is 56 bit. And that is why we say this is having the effective key size as 56 bits. So C is actually 56. Now which option is matching? Option C, which is 64, 48 and 56. If you see the actual DES encryption diagram, you will confirm that A, which is 64, B, which is 48 and C, which is 56. So the right answer for this question is option C, 64, 48, 56. Let's now see the last question. The question is, DES has a 56 bit key which raises the possibility of 2 power 56 possible keys. I told you in the previous question that the effective key size of DES is 56 bits. So 56 bits in binary, obviously how many possibilities are there? 2 power 56 possible keys are there. And this statement deals with dash attack. The options are given. Option A, timing attack. Option B, mathematical attack. Option C, brute force attack. And option D, DOS, DOS attack, the denial of service attack. The answer is option C, brute force attack because we are going to search the entire key space. If the key size or the effective key size is of 56 bits in DES, then all possible key values will be 2 power 56. So we have a key space of 2 power 56 and when we attempt to break the DES encryption algorithm to find the key for 2 power 56 possible keys, then it is a brute force attack. And that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this presentation and thank you for watching.